If someone's laughing at your idea, you're probably on the right track. I've got to where I'm at now in my life by having my own mind and having my own ideas, and so I'm not gonna stray from it now. I figured if I'm gonna fail, I'd much rather fail with something this big that can give me an opportunity at a really good fish versus a two pounder that would probably eat this. Thankfully I get to come home two or three times a year. It's, it's important to me that I get back to the fundamentals and back to the roots, man and come home, make sure I don't get soft. Something's coming, I can see it now with my red view. Touch one hand, me, man, I dare you. Leave no witnesses when I dare for I've had two great loves in my life. Basketball and fishing, both discovered at the age of 10. Being here in LA as a kid, you can't just roll out to the unmanned launch ramp like you can in Texas. We used to sneak into like retirement homes, go in there at night and walk through a cow pasture, it'd be cops patrolling. Those challenges exist for so many of us. It's been a literal dream come true to be entered into these Bassmaster Opens. It's, it's a level of fishing that I never saw being within reach for me. That rock right there. Checked off my first bass ever caught. Nice three pounder swimming a worm. Man, I was on top of the world. That really jump-started me as a bass fisherman. We chase these fish all over the country now. That right but. there is why, <laughs> my dude. That's fish number six for the day. Oh my God, wow, holy <laughs> Let's watch that again. Oh my God. <laughs> Like it goes tick, tick, boom. Like right there. That that moment, she could have easily just spit the bait. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing. I've had a pretty analytical approach to my fishing from an early age. As soon as she eats it, I'm already in the hook set position. I was tracking all of my fish catches as a young teenager on Excel. Light line and even live bait to a degree dominated the regional culture. And they, they see me coming along in this little leaky 14 foot boat tossing a 10 inch lure. Splash! They're just like, what the hell is this guy doing? I can't even get bit on this. Oh, there's one. Heavy weights. <laughs> and that guy crushed it. I'm trying to speak to a younger version of myself. Those glasses. A version of myself with a lot less resources. If you just work diligently, you can leverage yourself out of La Puente and do whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's in fishing or not. I'm still just that young kid that walked out on that middle pier in search of that, that next bite. 